Dude, I'm so hungry for an explosivo. I want it so bad I can taste it. Scott, can you explain what's happening right now? Uh, yeah, none of us knew that we were supposed to get a yellow fever vaccination, which apparently takes 14 days to incubate in your blood, so it's not even possible to get one right now. And yet here we are at 4.30 in the morning at the Brazil, the Rio airport, being refused entry to Bogota. And then we are totally vaccinated for yellow fever. Oh, we got a note from the doctor. I had them bag the whole time. That ought to do it. We're good to go. You know, it's not quite funny yet. It will be. <laughs> Soon enough, but it's not funny yet. I'm gonna be laughing about this. <laughs> kind of in the distance, kind of distance. <laughs> Jack, have you ever had yellow fever? Not that I'm aware of. I, if they say you can't go to Bogota, we're gonna have to find some way to smuggle us through, because the show must go on. The people of Bogota will ride in the streets if the D does not show up to do our 30 minute set. There's no way I'm not getting into that country one way or another. About the right size. If I crumple up. The fat exit to Bogota, bro. That X me. Get a little flask of water, a PB&J. Good to go. Someone should try to call the president of Bogota. I mean, of Colombia. Yo, Prezi. Presidente. Los Tenacious D. Necesito rock and roll. Mi amigo, por favor. Necesitamos rock and roll ahora. ¿Dónde? En Bogota, baby. Muchas gracias. Here's what I'm saying. It's a 30 minute set. Fucking it's so easily snipped. It was always a little questionable. One eternity later. Oh yeah, a lot of you said, hey, how'd those guys get so old? How'd they get so fat? What's the matter with them? Well, sorry haters. Go drink your haterade. Go throw some shade on some other super group. Because the D is coming back. I don't care what the altitude here is in Bogota. They say it's, it's over 8,000 feet. But don't forget to include some resistance. Wait, what you say? Me and Jalen. We don't just care. No, stop. No. A lot of people see Tenacious D, they say, how do you guys do it? How come you guys are just obese instead of morbidly obese? And the answer is, D's are size. You wanna look like the D? You wanna live like the D? You want a little bit more D? D's are size. What is D's are size, you ask? It's just regular life living 
with a little extra D. A little extra vitamin D. Let's say you're walking down the street. Here's a regular walk down the street. Now Caesar size it. Is it embarrassing? Hell yeah! That's part of the teaser size experience. Not only working out extra muscles, but also overcoming embarrassment and shame. But hey, Cage, what if I've had a little bit too much to eat that day and teaser size isn't enough? Flip the switch into Super Dark Heat Zone. What? Super, super Cow Burn Zone. Super Cow Burn Zone? What's that? You move, you do what you're doing, all the extra Yeah. That's super cow burn mode. This is what I do. coffee because it's you know world famous is the best coffee in the world Colombian Azahar Cafe so I said hook me a, a cappuccino they whipped it up I already took a sip this is just this is gold nectar of the gods dude oh, I feel like I'm on a planet of wonder and mischief. You know how in Ireland it's all about the Guinness and you have to get the Guinness in Ireland and it tastes the best in Ireland? So this cappuccino is like the Guinness of Colombia. I'm gonna give it a full point. Nah, 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 nah. Six. Out of five. Oops. 
in Colombia. The people know they're Jables in Colombia. Oh yes they do. Necesito, uh, everybody, everybody, yes, everybody uh, ahora. Oh no more puedo um, diga. <laughs> Jack, what are we doing right now? Oh we're gonna do a a little game called Tejo. Tejo! You throw heavy metal discs across the room onto a pile of gunpowder. Kablamo! Then you drink a cerveza. Let's do this. Oh, it's uh, Tenacious D versus Foo Fighters versus Weezer. Let's do this. Tenacious D took the first round. So handily. Come on, Weezer's winning. Let's go! Impossible! I can just push explosives in myself with my fingers. already won the tournament. They were the first one to two tournament victories. Congratulations, Foos. Explosiva. Well, there's been lots of bonding uh, between the bands. It's kind of like band camp. I, I think there's uh, been some bon ami established, and uh, I think the show is going to benefit tomorrow from it. I think people will see some real, some teamwork out there. They're in for a treat. My favorite moment was um, right now. We're gonna go home to our bed. God, that's too big. This this venue is too big. Oh, yeah. There must be some mistake. That's too big for a concert. We are the 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 Name is Larry, oh, he's really scary, drinking at the fucking bar. On top of his shoulder, muscles like a boulder, telling him that he's gone too far. Cuidado, cuidado. Es peligroso. Caminar conmigo. Adiós. Woo! Hola! 
So, what I like to do before every show is walk up to the cheap seats and see how the stage looks from here. This is a big room. You can't even really call it a room, it's a stadium. But the bottom line is, if the show really rules, it doesn't matter what it looks like. You close your eyes and you still love the show an equal amount. Because the rock comes in through the ear holes. You understand? It's not really about the eye holes. Especially not with Tenacious D. <laughs> We're not much to look at. But when you listen to the D, oh, you feel the D. I asked Cage if he wanted to walk with me up to the cheap seats to do my ritual. And uh, he was teasing me because he knew that uh, Taylor, my social media guru, was coming with me to film me, film the experience. And he was saying that I'm a slave to my social media now, and that I should live more in the moment and not rely on a camera on me at all times. And I said, fuck you, Kyle. You don't understand it. You don't get me yet. Go backstage, Kyle. I'm going out to the cheap seats with my social medias. I'm scared of dogs. It's true. But this dog is muy tranquilo. Entonces, no hay peligroso. No, no. Es un perro muy bien. Muy bien. I get scared of the eye contact. Cage just, he had to fart, and he didn't fart. He held it in, and he sent it back up the pipeline. And why? Because he was considerate. Yeah, this is Kyle, rock star life. You tie it and then the rabbit goes around the tree in its hole and comes out of its hole. I like a tie. Johnny Spike misunderstands. Kyle knows how to tie his shoe. He just chooses not to. But for the good of the D, and the shoes must be tied. Thanks, John. He's just too precious. This is controversial. Before a show, some say it's best to be on an empty stomach. You don't want anything getting between you and the rock and the audience. If you get a full gut of chorizo or beans and rice, what have you, it could slow you down. You got to be light on your feet like a ninja. However, we're hungry. So we're just gonna take a look and see what's on the menu. We're not necessarily gonna eat anything, we're just gonna sneak a peek, see what's up. It may look like we got a little too much on our plates, but don't let looks deceive you. We're not gonna eat the whole thing. We're just getting a little taste and we walk away. Why didn't we just put less on our plates? They forced us to put a lot on our plate, a lot more than we wanted. Let me go to the show. No dessert. No more dessert. In the immortal words of Steve Vai, go out there and live life. take my own note and take it way easier. Yeah. I got so tired out there. Yeah. I was just fucking drenched in sweat and fucking exhausted. 
What? Dave, come on in. Doctor oh, you, you didn't watch, did you? Yeah. Did. Oh my god. Is it hard? I, well, I forgot how to play. No. Altitudes. It's fucking hard. The altitudes. Yeah, I got real. winded, and then like I forgot a lyric, and then the rest of the show is just fucking drenched in sweat. Just fucking go away. Don't exercise too much. Pull an oasis. Just you can't stand. help it. You fucking got it. You gotta run. Yeah. Wait, you're running all over the place. What are you talking about? I'm scared. So Dude, have you ever done the exploding awesome. coffee mate trick? No, what's that? What's that? Coffee mate powder. Yeah. Take, okay, so coffee, you have to be careful, I'm not kidding, this will explode. Coffee made the powder, pour some on a plate, like a paper plate, and pile it, light a lighter, and slowly pour it over the lighter. And as it's, you'll see it starts to sparkle, and then dump it fast, and it goes, whoosh! It's fucking, I guess, awesome. That's so dangerous.